Now the one actually the album actually is urban London Britain zone top of the game G Fresh is in the building people the fucking in London G Fresh
Let's go.
it all, I came into ball Some came for a brick, I came for the wall I came for the baddest bitches with the aim of having them all Then I came time and time again, came for more than got bought so I came on a stage. Yo, we are in um, Shoreditch right now. I just went to perform for Provocative London um, in Barks and Colby. And yeah, it was a great show, great turnout, amazing crowd. All well, like I can say is big up to the promoters. Um, fuck Posty and big up Jamal Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> Posty, try not turn up. Okay, see. Don't worry, man. Big up Jamal, man. No. What do you think about the situation? You're probably going to know the question already. What? Yeah. Between Chip and Tiny. I see it. Well, there's nothing more to say. You see what it is as well. Yeah, let me tell you something. Can you address it? Can you can you address it first or say the situation? No, no, no. I'm just nah. going to say it's a healing nah. thing. Yeah. Your voice is on there, so you're nah. with me on this. So listen, no. What it is is that at the end of the day, yeah. When we promote, like it's all well and good saying, oh, this is part of the culture. This is that. This is all of that. Yeah. But we shouldn't promote like negativity amongst ourselves. That's that's my thing. That's. That's all I say because at the end of the day, like it draw, it takes away attention from what we're really supposed to be doing. And that's making good music and pushing the scene further on a scale that's bigger than ourselves. You see what I'm saying? So conflict within our scene. I'm never, I've never been an advocate of that. Like I've never been. If you have like a personal problem or something, address that situation personally, and that's it. Do you understand know what I'm saying? Everything else, everything else is irrelevant to me. And then, and then you know what the worst is, yeah. Like both the people in that situation are busy continuing their lives, getting their money, making their music. And then you got a bag of people just chatting a bag of shit around the situation. They ain't getting no money there. They're just wasting time talking about our next man's business. Go and do your business, go and do what you gotta do. Go and get your money, you know what I'm saying? And then and then for me, it's always broke niggas talking. Always. Always. Like seriously, like if you're broke, you ain't got time to be talking. That's that's that serious. It's as simple as that. No time to be talking about a next man. Go and watch your own wake up, handle your business. That's what I'm saying to everybody. Like as far as that situation goes, just as a whole, I'm not an advocate of negativity and conflict. That's just my thing.